Obviously, we needed to get that one tonight. Uh, you know, a little bit disappointing start for us. You know, Caleb had a tough time there in the first and second inning, but Bittmeyer came in and got a big out. And then, you know, the highlight on the mound was Storrs throwing two shutout innings. Uh, and then after that, you know, I thought thought everybody did the pitch did well. Um, but the big the biggest thing of the night was, you know, we just swung the bat so well. You know, to fall behind two to nothing right away against one of their weekend starters, and then to fight right back and throw up a three spot, and then a, then uh, Daniel with the big home run, and you know, just good offensive night for us. And uh, glad we got it behind us, and now we can focus on the big series against Alabama. Uh is it concerning at all that Storrs is like uh, having a little bit of trouble with his location? I very or? much expected it, yeah. Luke. You know, if you were reading between the lines when you asked me about how his live session went, good enough, I said. Yeah. You know, he wasn't particularly sharp. That's about what he looked like in, in his live session. So I'd expect him to go out there and just throw nothing but strikes. The problem with, you know, what we've been trying to, I mean, we were trying to get him a lot of practice mound time. We just haven't been able to do that because of the health of his shoulder. And so he, he pitched tonight probably two or three practice sessions before he should have pitched. But we don't have any more time, otherwise we're just getting ready for summer league, you know? So he was anxious to get out there, he feels great. And, uh, but I didn't expect that he was gonna be, you know, you know painting the corners and you know, sure. have great command. But I'm hoping that by getting out there tonight and especially getting two innings in, that next time will be a little bit better, and the time after that, hopefully, a little bit better, and so forth. So but the, the stuff was like like the powerful kind of. The stuff know. wasn't quite up to to what he's capable of either. I think the biggest I saw was 92 up there, but he can he can get. Oh, it was a 93. Well, he's 90. He can be pretty consistently 94 miles an hour. Do a couple of good sliders. Um, you know, I think he started to get a little bit tired. 33 pitches, but uh, you'll have to ask him. But. All in all, I thought it was successful. He got mm -hmm. the big strike out there at the end, so I didn't have to pull him. If he'd have walked the guy, I'd have pulled him. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. What do you think Caleb struggled with tonight? I don't know. Uh, James, he just, um, this ball just didn't have a lot of life to it, you know, and he was throwing them down the middle and they were hitting them. They got a pretty good hitting team. They swing the bats, and you know, unfortunately, you know, they, they just hit some balls hard. And, I know we just got, you know, he, I know he wants to do well so badly, and he's a wonderful young man, and, and he's going to keep practicing and keep keep good admit. You know, last year we went through this with him, and then all of a sudden he turned it on, and he was a vital guy down the stretch for us. So hopefully, you know, next time he'll be a lot better. I think your lineup's starting to kind of find a little bit of a groove. I think uh, Hunter Fiducia is really swinging yeah. the bat a lot better. I think Daniel Cabrera is becoming the hitter that I predicted that he would be before the season began. Those two things in themselves, I think, are making us a lot better. Uh, you know, Antoine's been doing his thing all year. Bo's done some good stuff, you know, especially when we put him at the top of the order. Uh, you know, Waddy's had his moments, and of course, Bain's been awesome. Um, but, you know, I, I think the big thing is when Slaughter can get a hit for us, and now, to me, it looks like Brandt's starting to swing the bat a little bit better, and Hal's had some productive at-bats. So, yeah, I think our lineup's playing fine. You know, we played another airless game, and, you know, offensively, we guys are doing a pretty good job. You know, um, just, you know, you don't want to have to feel like you have to score nine or ten runs to win a game. So it all comes down to, you know, if your pitching pitch is really good, it can make, make your lineup.